Example three, factor each polynomial. We're going to be using the perfect square trinomial pattern. Yeah, that's a rough one to remember. Basically, if you've got a square in the front and in the back, it's possible that you can do this, okay? If they're all positive, positive. If there's a negative, there's a negative. The first thing we need to do is get this to look like this, sorta. Uh, so basically, 169, you need to find a number times itself gives you 169. A number squared gives you 169. Because I'm pretty good with my multiplications, <laughs> I can do this in my head, uh, I know that 13 times 13 is 169. To double check to make sure that that is correct, this middle number, 26x, is 2ab. So 2 times a, which is x, times b, which is 13. 2 times 13 is 26. 26 times x is 26x. So that all works. Now I just use the pattern a plus b squared. Part B, we're going to do the same thing, but this 9 also can be brought to 3 squared, and the 16 is 4 squared. Once again, we're going to do 2 times A, which is 3x, times B, which is 4, plus 4 squared. So a negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x negative 6x times 4 is negative 24, so this is correct. I can rewrite this to make it look a little bit better, so 3x squared minus 2 times 3x times 4 plus 4 squared. Now let's use that pattern. a, which is 3x, minus b, which is 4 squared. Boom! And you should be able to see that, yeah?